Hello and welcome back to APNC Co. I hope you guys are doing good. In this tutorial, we will learn how to configure a custom array picker in Appian that dynamically removes already selected items. And this can be useful for scenarios like form inputs where users need to select from a list and we don't want previously selected items to be available for reselection. So let's dive right in. Let's start by creating a supporting rule first. Click on new. Then select expression rule, give it some meaningful name, I'll call it AS picker suggestion which is gonna scan text that match the text entered by the user and returns a data subset for use in the picker component. Let's start by defining the variables. I am calling it search text. This will be calculated dynamically during the user's interaction with the picker. Cool and it's gonna be of type text. Now going to create another rule input called selected text. This will keep track of the items the user selects. This is also gonna be of type text and array as this will store an array of selected users. Cool. Alright, so let's start by defining the data now. Imagine we have a list of users. So I'm calling it local users and this is gonna hold an array of users that the user can pick from. I believe it would be more appropriate to rename this to selected users since that term more accurately describes its purpose. Tim, John, Jim, Tanny. So here local users is the full list of users. And local selected users is initially empty meaning no users are selected yet. Now comes the key part. We want to make sure that once a user selects an item, it's removed from the list of available users. To do this, we will use difference function. I am calling this variable local filtered users and this difference function takes two lists and returns the items that are in the first list but not in the second. Here it removes any users in the selected user array from the users array. Okay. Now I need to find the appropriate matches as per the text entered by the user. So for this I will use for each loop which will be iterated over local filtered users. As this variable holds a list of filtered users right and I want to find a match within the items that have not yet been selected. And in the expression I am going to use search function which searches the text for the given substring. Here search text is going to be ri search text and within text is going to be fp item. So with the help of search function I am just trying to find the entered text within this fp item. Here fp item represents one of the filtered users. Now I am gonna wrap this for each loop inside where function. As it returns the indices where the value in the input array are true. So if the substring is found, the search function will return the index of the first character of the first match. So if it returns anything other than 0, that value will be considered as true by this where function. If the search function returns 0, that value that 0 will be considered as false by this where function. Okay. So now this where function is gonna return the indices where the values in the input array are true. Which means I will have the indices of all the elements where the search function returns anything apart from 0. Alright. Lastly we will create a data subset with the data available to populate the suggestion pane. Okay. Here the data contains the labels to display and identifier contains the values to save. That's because the parameter suggest function of picker field custom can only be mapped to a rule that takes a single parameter and must return a data subset which we are creating via a bank data subset function. Just be a little mindful of what your identifiers contain. If it contains the same labels as your data, it is gonna save those labels. Okay. If it contains ID, it is gonna save those IDs. The data parameter which contains the labels is just for displaying purpose. But the identifiers are for saving purpose. Here in the data parameter I will use index function to retrieve all those users from the list local filtered users 
based on the indices. So here data is going to be local filtered user as this is the list from which we want to extract the users and index is going to be local matches as local matches is returning the positions of the users. Let me quickly format the code and test the setup to ensure it works as expected. Let's type in some text. J. I want this rule to return the names of all the users who have the substring in their names. Okay. And in the selected users, I will input one of the users from this local users list. Let's say John. John is already selected. And notice how this user John disappears from the list as this is already selected. Testing this rule out. As you can see, after selecting John, the list automatically updates and removes that user from the list of available users. So it's returning Jim. That's because John is already selected. And apart from John, Jim is the only person that has J in his name. If you take this input off and try to test this out again, notice that John reappears in the list. That's because no users are selected yet and John and Jim are the only people who have J in their names. So basically, if you input J as your search text, you will have a list of all the users who have J in their names, removing the ones which have already been selected, ensuring that users cannot select them again. Now let's go through the code step by step and break down each part to understand what we have implemented so far. Local users containing the items that are initially available for selection. Local filtered users uses the difference function which compares the two list local users and RI selected users and removes from the local users list any items that have already been selected. Initially, this will return the entire local users list because RI selected user is empty at the beginning. Next, we have local matches which is returning all the matches based on the text entered by the user. At the moment, this local matches is returning 2 and 3 as the indices. If I now pass some value in search text, let's say T, it is gonna return me the indices of elements where T occurs. So Tim has T in his name, Danny has T in his name. So it should return 1 and 4 as the indices, which is working as expected. Lastly, we are using this A bank data subset to create the data subset for the suggest function parameter. We are good to save this rule and move on to the interface. I'll quickly create one and call it custom picker. Now let's add an array picker to the interface. From the component palette, drag and drop the custom array picker component onto your design canvas. Switching to expression mode to tailor this. For suggestion pane, we will use suggest function parameter for which we have created the rule AS picker suggestions. So this parameter just needs a reference to that rule which we have just created. I'm just calling it over here. So this rule will suggest options as the user types. It has two parameters, search text and selected users. I'm just going to pass an underscore to the search text. That means the value can change at runtime based on user interaction. So if you pass an underscore to a variable that indicates that the value of a variable is determined at runtime. Okay, the actual value of these variables are calculated based on user input. And for selected users, I'll declare a new variable called selected users and will map it to that variable. And when the user selects a user, we want the value to be saved in this local variable. Okay. Now we also need to ensure that when the user selects users, the selected users array should be updated. For this, we need to bind the value property of the array picker to the selected users variable. Okay. 
by saving the selected item to the selected user variable and binding the value property we are making sure that each time a user selects an option it will be added to selected user and automatically removed from the available options in the picker next we have parameter selected labels which represents the labels that the user has selected from a list of options so basically in an interface you may need to display the labels of the selected items for example after the user selects multiple options you can use the selected labels parameter to dynamically display a summary of the selected items so as we are storing the user selection in this local variable selected user i'll map the same to this selected labels parameter let me quickly set the label to select user now that everything is set up let's test the interface so now when you select a user from the picker it will be removed from the available options and added to the selected user as you can see john has been added to this local variable now again when i'm trying to search users who have j in their names i can only see jim because there are only two users who have j in their names john and jim as john has already been selected the name john has disappeared from the picker so this picker ensures that the users can only select from the available option and once an item is chosen it disappears from the picker so that's all for this tutorial if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like and subscribe for more appian tips and tutorials i'll see you in the next one cheers bye bye